Horrible. I heard a great talk from a guy called Jake Kim about fatherhood, particularly God's fatherhood of us. Have you ever felt you're in a situation, you have to do something and you just like, oh, I can't do this. For me, filling out forms. Oh my gosh, the pressure. Just getting the form is tricky. And then you have to get all the information right. Then you have to write it correctly. And if you send it in, you get it wrong. You usually have to send money. And then if you get it wrong, you have to do the whole thing again. And sometimes if it's like a visa application because you want to move to another country, it can be really expensive. Like sometimes thousands. Don't get it wrong. And they ask questions and the answer that you have lies somewhere in between. Like not, it's not going to work. It's just not going to work. I don't know the answer to this question. Do you mean this? Do you mean this? I don't know. I have no one to ask. Ah, horrible. So that can be a great example of what my friend was, was talking about in this talk, that we get into these places sometimes. And we feel these three things. We feel, I'm all alone. I can't do this. And I have to do this. <laughs> so you have to get it right. It must be perfect. <laughs> First time. Or I'm a loser. And there can be all sorts of things in there. You know, uh, we can get discouraged, anxious, fearful. We feel isolated hungry maybe despair it's just you lose hope you're trying to do it and you're like ah do you ever have that thing where you're you're procrastinating on something but you know that the reason you're procrastinating is because you're you're feeling these things i feel alone i can't uh, i don't have the stuff to do this and i have to do it but i can't but i have to but i can't so that's an experience jay kim proposes of fatherlessness and this doesn't mean that you don't have like a biological dad maybe you had the best dad in the world but right then in that moment, your heart is experiencing this thing of like being completely abandoned and alone and without somebody who can pass on to you the knowledge, the skills and the encouragement that you need in order to do it. So what do you do? What on earth do we do in this situation? Well, happy days, there is a solution. <laughs> and the answer is, of course, Jesus. OK, it's through Jesus. But the answer is actually God the Father and that God the Father wants to wants to father us in these situations. I just had a, a, a situation really, really recently. In fact, as I was trying to set this room up. So this is my bedroom, or as we call it as Franciscans, our cell. A lot of religious will call their bedroom their cell. That as we come into our room, it's a place of prayer. It's a place of encounter with God. But also for me, it's a place of video making. Now, when I got here to Limerick, I had to use another room and it took so long to take it up, so long to take it down. By the time I'd set everything up, I'd be exhausted and not in the mood to do a video at all. It was rather stressful. But then anyway, decided, right, I'm going to use this room, which is a tiny little room. There's just so much involved in putting a room together to do to do videoing. You have to get things so it does. So it looks somewhat decent so that your eyes aren't, oh, that's so ugly. <laughs> Sounds nice, but ooh. <laughs> so to try and get the thing and the lighting right and the room right and the, oh, there's so much stuff. So I just had this experience uh, numerous times as I was experimenting and trying to figure it out. I was just like, oh, I can't do this. I don't know. Don't know how to do this, but I have to get this right. And because I have to do videos, I'm running out of videos. I need them done. Anyway, so I was in this place, which guys, I felt this my whole life over and over again. And I never, I suppose, didn't understand it or see it as clearly and see the way out as clearly until I just heard this talk on the weekend. Thanks again, Jake. Helped a lot, helped a lot of guys. So I was experiencing this just last night as I was setting the room up. I'm imagining that I'm alone. I'm imagining that I don't have anyone to call on. I'm imagining that I don't have any support, that I have to do this myself and I can't do this myself and I'm stuck and therefore I'm useless. And I remember Jake's talk and I remembered his solution. He said, whenever that happens to him, he always turns to God the Father and he says this real simple prayer. He says, Father, Father me. Beautiful. So I did that. And I said, oh, do you know what? I need to hand this over and I need to ask for the help that is there. Because that's why I said it. I imagined that I had no support because I do. My dad is the creator of heaven and earth. He can do anything. There's no limit to his supply. There's no limit to his, his compassion, his desire and willingness to share his wisdom, his infinite creative wisdom with me. I think he can do an amazing setup for a video. I really do. I have great faith in him. <laughs> <laughs> so I started to pray that little prayer as I went downstairs and before I left the room even. Uh, I just turned to him and really simply said, Father, Father me. I really could use some help here. I don't, I can't see the way out of this. I, I'm losing hope. I'm losing energy. I, ugh, but I have to do this thing. 
So I just prayed that and I went downstairs with the brothers, prayed, prayed night prayer, it was night prayer. Just handed it over and then my mind came back to this job. And just all of a sudden I could see so clearly what I needed to do. It was so amazing. It was just like these simple little thoughts popped in my head. I was like, oh yeah, I could do that next step. So I did and it looked better. And bit by bit, it started to come together. And for me, it was just a beautiful experience of God looking after me and me letting him look after me because I could have just stayed more and more and more stressed in that moment and, and really gotten into the despair and the discouragement and fed on them and let them suck me down. And uh, who knows where it would have led in terms of being able to do the job I need to do and do the prayer I need to pray. But instead, in that moment of despair, I encountered his presence and his help. Even before I had the idea, I was able to say, do you know what? You have this. I could let go. And I experienced God fathering me with stuff that I'm re I feel really insecure about some of this stuff. Stuff I don't know how to do. I don't like not knowing how to do things. I want to know how to do things because I want to be the man. I want to be the guy who knows how and to seem really confident and unafraid. And the reality is often I'm not. Often I am terrified and I'm really insecure and I feel insufficient. And, um, and that's okay because I'm sure lots of kids feel that way. But that's why I have a father in heaven, among other reasons, because <laughs> he made heaven and earth. And if he wasn't there, they wouldn't exist. So, but he also is my dad and he wants to come alongside me and love me and teach me stuff. That's so attractive to me. So I don't have to be afraid. And for you, brothers and sisters, he's your dad too. And he wants to be more and more. He wants to show himself to be your dad if you let him. So they worked for me at least twice so far in less than 12 hours. So I highly encourage, give it a go. Why not? What harm? Anyway, God bless you guys. Hope that helps. Bye. Boop. Boop, boop. <laughs> Everyone together. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop.